A miniature man is facing a slew of felony charges following an alleged armed burglary last week. KDB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, a military man is facing a slew of felony charges following an alleged armed burglary last week. 54-year-old Lance Gibbons is charged with burglary, use of a firearm to commit a felony, terroristic threats, possession, possession of a firearm by a prohibited person, and tampering with evidence. Court records say he broke into a home east of Scotchbluff and pointed a loaded gun at a woman's head before fleeing in his vehicle. Authorities tracked down Gibbons' vehicle near the River Bridge on 21st Avenue and noticed something fly out the window. After he was pulled over, officers found a case holding a loaded 22 caliber Magnum revolver that had been tossed from the vehicle approximately 100 yards from the traffic stop. Gibbons advised it was his gun and he did throw it out during the pursuit. He also admitted he was at the aforementioned residence prior, but denied pointing the gun at anybody. A preliminary hearing has been set for tomorrow morning in Scottsbluff County Court with bond set at a quarter million dollars. Well, acting U.S. Attorney Jan Sharp announced that federal grand jury for the District of Nebraska returned 15 unsealed indictments charging 17 defendants, including two from here in the Panhandle. One of those defendants is 62-year-old George Liakos of Bayard, who is charged in a five-count indictment, charging him with bank fraud and making false statements. The second Panhandle man indicted is 41-year-old Ryan Arents of Alliance. He is charged in a three-count indictment, including charges of distribution of methamphetamine, possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime, and possession with the intent to distribute more than 50 grams or more of methamphetamine. We'll have more news right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, you don't have to be like a tortoise and carry your home on your back. They have mortgage experts that can help you finance the home that's perfect for you. Whether you're a first-time home buyer, looking for your next home, or simply want to refinance the home you're in, the experienced lenders at Platte Valley Bank are there to help. Contact them at pvbank.com or call and visit with one of the mortgage experts to take advantage of great rates at Platte Valley Bank. back. Morrill Public Schools is on the search for a new top leadership position. Earlier this month, Joe Wilson tendered his resignation from his post as elementary school principal. Wilson officially began his duties on July 1st and announced his departure just three months on the job. The Morrill School Board is set to meet next week to consider appointing former Gehring High School principal Eldon Hubbard to serve as interim elementary principal. Well, former Bronco Vance Johnson, a member of Denver's famed Three Amigos, will highlight the 2021 Human Services Open House and Behavioral Health Professions Conference at Western Nebraska Community College this week. Johnson will share his story of substance abuse, his recovery, and his experience with the behavioral health providers who ultimately saved his life. This event is free and open to all students interested in human services, including high school, college, and adult education students. Registration for this open house begins Wednesday at 8.15 a.m. in the Harm Center, and Johnson will be speaking again to the public on Thursday evening at 6.30 p.m. at WNCC's Judy Chalupka Theater. And Nebraska's latest unemployment rate of 2.5% was the lowest in the nation and lowest on record for the state. 
The Nebraska Department of Labor said Friday that the September rate was down from August rate of 2.2 percent. September's rate is the lowest since Nebraska began keeping records for unemployment data in 1976. It's also tied with the nationwide records set by Hawaii in January 2020 and Connecticut in August of 2020. The national unemployment rate for September was 4.8 percent. Well, coming up after the break, Bill Boyer's in with your full week forecast. I love that right after this on KDB.TV. Renewal by Anderson. The time is now. Winter is coming, beautiful but brutal. You don't have to live through another winter with drafty windows and high heating bills. At Renewal by Anderson, we have great financing options with approved credit right now. Our certified full-time installers are the best in the industry, not subcontractors. We're a five-star energy partner. Renewal by Anderson Windows can significantly cut your heating bills. Put that blanket away this winter. Let's talk about your windows today. Renewal by Anderson. Winter is coming. The time is now. A community is connections, friends, family, schools, teams. At Allo, we're honored to be a part of your community. As members of the community, we're committed to ensuring people stay connected to the services they need. That's why we're participating in the FCC's Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. We're providing low and no cost broadband to qualifying community members. Go to allofiber.com forward slash EBB to learn more. My name is Angela and I'm with Langer Industrial Services. There's a huge uh, technology part in metal just with um, all the programs we use, running the scale and paying people, all the software. He does 24-7 ransomware monitoring, making sure the programs run smoothly, making sure that everything's running properly. Uh, so it's nice to have Jeremy there to, to call when things go wrong. He's always there right away. He's, you know, within 30 minutes he shows up. ERA Technology Solutions, we make technology work for you. This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, it's the calm before the storm that's coming in as we go through the evening hours. We'll be partly to mostly cloudy with temperatures falling into the 40s and light winds this evening. That cold front arrives tomorrow. It's going to be windy at times, very little in the way of precip uh, and windy throughout uh, the middle part of the week before another system arrives, probably just in time for Halloween. 63 yesterday after a morning low of 37, nothing in the rain gauge. Still a little above normal, about a quarter of inch above normal for October and three inches or so below normal for the year. Temperatures are all over the map. We've got 40s and 50s in central and eastern Nebraska, 60s here in our portions of the state. And Mullen, though, at 51, it's 69 in Wheatland. So quite a variance of temperatures and winds very gusty. Southeast, 15, 20, 25, gusts up to 30, 35 miles an hour today, and these winds are only going to get stronger tomorrow. It looks like we'll be mostly cloudy when you get on the bus tomorrow, temperatures in the 40s, and on the way home, we're going to see rain showers developing, maybe in the 60s. Dumps are going to fall quickly behind that frontal system. So let's look at future cast here. For tonight, we're going to be partly cloudy. That's really it. Nothing going on tonight. We'll stay dry. That frontal system well of the west of us before it makes it in here tomorrow. Low temperatures overnight going to be mostly in the 40s, pretty uniform. Not tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have not bad temperatures out in front of that system, but there's the cold front. You can see it come in from Wyoming into eastern Wyoming and then pushing across the panhandle and into central portions of Nebraska. It'll be all rain, though, with this system. It's not a very cold Arctic system. Temperatures are going to be all over the map. 50s from Lusk down to Wheatland, 60s in the middle portions of the area, 75 in Sydney. Those are likely going to be daytime highs that are going to be early in the morning or late morning, early afternoon. And then temps are going to fall when that rain comes in. Partly cloudy skies, 42 overnight. For tomorrow, going to see rain developing in the afternoon. It's going to be windy as well with Temperatures are in the 60s, winds 25 to 30 miles an hour. We're going to see gusts at 40 plus. Those will be around Wednesday and Thursday as well. Temps both those days back to near 60. 70 or so on Friday, 60 on Saturday. And then Sunday, Monday, where the timing of this system comes through is still up in the air, but we've got some cold temps coming behind it, and it looks like November is going to start much colder here across the region. This is John. He's not an actor or a director. Can you tell? He calls himself a steward of the land. And by the looks of the way he nurtures his little corner of the earth, 
it's safe to say he's the real deal. John runs with us on a John Deere 3 Series tractor because you can never underestimate the value of a little tractor time. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scottsbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full-service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee. Only from the great big small bank. A bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. The high school postseason bonanza continues this week. Welcome into today's update. Things starting back up tonight with high school volleyball sub-district tournaments. Teams hosting across the region tonight are Bridgeport, Baird, Chase County, and Hay Springs, as well as Garden County. Those are Class C and D tournaments. Tomorrow in Sydney, the B8 tournament starts up. That'll run tomorrow and Wednesday with top seed Sydney hosting. We'll have both matches tomorrow night on 106.9 The Trail and streaming at khyyfm.com. Pre-game will start at 5.15. First serve for the opening match at 530. Now later this week, the playoffs start in high school football and we'll be covering just one team this year in what was a down season overall for Panhandle High School football. Scott's Bluff, the number seven seed in Class B and they'll host 10 seed Beatrice on Friday night. The winner would have a likely date with Aurora in round two as the two seed Huskies open up against Lexington. Top seed Bennington is seen as a favorite this year in Class B. Among the other teams from the region still playing, Shadra 9-0. They're the five seed in an always stacked and impressive Class C1 bracket. Shadra and home Friday against Battle Creek. And for WNCC, there's soccer and volleyball on the docket for this week. The Cougar volleyball team went 1-1 one one in their home matches over the weekend. They'll visit McCook to close out the regular season schedule pending a possible makeup match with Casper. And then for Cougar men's soccer, a road game at one seed Laramie on Friday in the Region 9 playoff semifinals. That'll do it for today. The latest from right here at the FNBO Sports Desk, I'm Chris Cottrell. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee. Only from the great big small bank. A bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. When you call Gearing Valley Plumbing and Heating, you will have options. Repair it, rebuild it, or update it. Whether your furnace stops working or your bathtub won't drain, Gearing Valley Plumbing and Heating provides the services you need to be comfortable. Weekends, holidays, or late nights, we will be there. With over 30 years of service, our certified technicians and cutting-edge technology can keep your systems running at their peak efficiency. Gearing Valley Plumbing and Heating, every time we enter your home, we leave it a better place to live. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's movie calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar, brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. What a year 2020 was. Now's the time to get out and travel this summer to see family and friends you were not able to see this last year. Spend more time enjoying your trip by flying United Airlines, operated by SkyWest, with daily flights to and from Denver. Reserve your flight today and remember United Miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. And don't forget, Thrifty Car Rental is here for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and hitch a ride with your BFF, Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Why bank at a local community bank? When you choose a local community bank, you keep money in our local economy. That money helps support local jobs, schools, and businesses. Money that helps fund a stronger and prosperous community for us all to enjoy and live in. At Platte Valley Bank, we are here to help build and support the community we love being a part of. We believe that together, we can make great things happen. Platte Valley Bank. And finally tonight, officials say results of testing underway for the proposed regional landfill north of Scotch Bluff show the site could last longer than initially anticipated. Garing City Administrator Pat Heath provided an update on the project last week during the Western Nebraska Economic Development Group meeting, saying signs are pointing to a 200-year-plus lifespan for the facility and if it's approved and constructed. It looks like that we will be able to get at least 250 years, if not 300 years, out of the site. Um, we've been, of course, working with the, or, well, one, one positive thing on the site also is the groundwater level. That's the biggest concern we have. Um, groundwater, the shallowest test hole was 170 feet, and I believe the rest of them were all over 200 feet of groundwater. So that's, that's a positive because that's one thing that uh, you worry about with landfill. Heath said Department of Environment and Energy officials were out recently checking the site work and reviewing the transfer station in Gehring. He says city officials have been working with NDEE on coming up with ways to streamline the application and permitting process moving forward. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.